Morning everyone, it's another lovely sunny day and it's Friday. I'm Jessica Hartsall from Jessie Illustrates and we're going to be doing some lovely drawing again today. And one, this is my favourite one that we're going to do today, is a pirate ship and a pirate. So I'm going to start off with the pirate. Um, he's quite, I think he's quite fierce actually. So let's do a line, an ear, so a circle like that, or semicircle, sorry. And then we're going to do a wobbly line for a beard, a bit like a moustache. And do a line and another ear to join it together. So we've got a funny shape like that to start off with. We're going to do a curly cut and then a backward curly cut in the other ear. And then we're going to add in his nose and his eyes. So a little spread out oh, shape for the nose. We're going to do eyeball like that and his eyebrow like that we're going to do his patch on his eye like this so a, a long curved line and then semicircle and then that can color that in that's his patch eye patch I'm going to do a hat on him, so we're going to do a line to join those together. And a bump either side, like that. And then we're going to do a big bump up and down, a bit like a hill. Okay, we'll come back to that, we'll do a skull and crossbones later. So what we're going to do now to make him look fierce, is we're going to do um, a bit like a teardrop shape, but sideways and some teeth, so lines and a line across. So it's going grrr, like that. Do a little bit for his lip, like that. And then a bushy beard. So wibbly, wobbly lines, a bit more spiky at the end. Like that, maybe a bit of hair we could give him. So spiky bits there as well. How's he looking? He's looking quite fierce, isn't he? I'm gonna do his body now. So we're going to do um, a little waistcoat. So imagine a long rectangle. We go down, across, and back up. And same on the other side for his waistcoat. Down, long rectangle, across. I'm gonna leave a little line for his hook, and back up again. Give him some buttonholes, and buttons on the other side like that. What we're going to do now is his arms. So we're going to keep this quite cartoon style, quite simple. So we're going to do a big curve like that. Another curve, slightly thinner towards the end and join those together. That's his arm. We're going to draw a hook because this is a bit like Captain Hook. So up the square and then a curly hook shape, so round and back again to join onto your square. How are we all doing? We're going to do the other arm on this side, so same sort of shape, a curve along. We're going to do a line across and join back up again. Good morning everyone, how are we all doing? I think Eleanor's joining in, you like your hedgehog? And, oh, we've got Davina today. Hi. Who else have we got today? Curtis is here. Hi, Curtis. And hi, Jack and Olivia, if you're joining in today. So we're going to draw another box shape there, and then we're going to draw the hand. And he's, imagine he's grasping the sword like this. So we've got to draw this sort of shape, but we're going to keep it nice and simple. So we're going to do wibbly lines like that, and then a straighter bit there. And then a bit like that, and that's where he's holding on to his sword. I'm going to do a rectangle, really thin rectangle, like that. A line down, and then swoop him back up to make his sword. And that's the top half of the um, Captain Hook, I'd say. Captain Hook's body. I'm going to draw a belt across the middle now. So we're going to do a thin rectangle. Then we're going to do a square, a 
smaller square inside like that and then another rectangle on this side just draw those lines together hold his trousers up we're going to do some trousers now they're, they're shortish trousers so we're going to draw a line down from his waistcoat we're going to go across we're going to go back up and make an arch shape ready for the arch over we go like that then we're going to come across again and back up now he's got some trousers now shall we give him a peg leg today we're going to give him a wooden leg so we're going to go round and across and a rectangle down to create the, the wooden leg and then we're going to put a boot on the other side so another rectangle like that then the boot's going to come down across make a little uh, line down again come back across and up and we could put a little heel on him as well a little rectangle there that's our pirate he looks really fierce doesn't he okay so we're going to do pirate ship now so i'm going to bring you that way yeah so this is going to be his pirate ship and um, so maybe let's draw him on the beach He's on the beach, stranded on the beach, looking for his pirate ship. So we draw a wibbly wobbly line. And what could we put on the beach to make it look more beachy? Perhaps a shell. Like this. We could put some dots so it looks like sand. What else could we put on? Perhaps a crab or some treasure. I'll leave it for you to decide what you put on your beach and I'd love to see the pictures of what you put on. Okay, let's draw the pirate ship and then we'll add some sea in behind him. So first of all, we're going to do the bottom of the boat, which is a line across, slightly curved line, as though it's sitting on the water. We're now going to come up and make a curved wiggly line. So we're going to go up, give it a little bump to the side and stop there. We're going to do the same on the other side, but not quite as big a bump, a smaller bump this time. A little bump like that. We're going to join those lines together, but we're going to dip down in the middle. If you imagine, this, that's the lower deck there. So we're going to do a line. We're going to dip down to the lower deck. Then we're going to dip back up. Like that. And this bit here is where we're going to do... Um, if you imagine some what are called banisters, so railings, so little rectangles all the way across, like that, and a little rectangle on the end sticking out, like that. Now we're going to need portholes, don't we, and they're circles, so they're quite easy to do. So let's do three circles, one, two three and we want to make them look more like windows so we're going to do another circle inside like that and if you wanted to you could draw some people looking through those portholes couldn't you some little faces in there now can you remember what pirate ships might be made of they're made of wood so to make it look like wood we're going to draw lines across our pirate ship lines all the way across like this this will give it a little bit of texture and make it look like it's made out of the right materials all the way like this there we go that's the bottom part of our pirate ship. We need to do the sails now, as so it's not going to go very far, is it? How are you all doing? Are you doing well? This is a tricky one today, isn't it? So to do the trails, uh, the sails, sorry, we're going to do the middle one first. We're going to do some uh, square shapes like this one, and then the last side is going to be more bent, as if the wind's blowing it. So bend it round like that. Same again. Line 
line and this last line we're going to bend it like that so always bend it the same way because the wind's always blowing in the right same direction and we're going to do a rectangle for the top one like that and then a pole down the middle so that's why i've done it last so we know where to put it so uh, two lines parallel lines there we go now you could put anything on your cells you could put patterns you could put skulls and crossbones Let's draw another sail. So we're going to do the parallel lines, the same again. Blowing the same direction. And one more sail, the front. Like that. So I think I'm going to do dots on mine, actually. Mine's going to be a friendly pirate ship. Even though he's fierce, I think we're going to do a nice friendly one like that maybe wiggly lines on this one and then oh let's do a skull and crossbones here a bit tricky to do so small okay so i think that's our pirate ship finished so what we need to do now is to see so let's do um upward shapes like that to a point all the way along and the other side, and a few more here, maybe some here, like this. Shall we do a shark fin, like that? Oh, it looks a bit scary in those waters. We'll colour that one in. Like that bit of water on the other side. Now we've, we haven't done a skull and crossbones on his hat, have, have we? So let's do that now. So we're going to do a shape like that, start off with. That's the top bit, so we do the eyes. So a circle and a circle. Then the bottom, we're going to do more sort of this sort of shape for his teeth. Like that his nose, holes like that. Then we're going to do the bones sticking out each side like that. There we go. And that's our pirate. Great job, everyone. So I'm going to move you back so you can say hi. Hey. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed all the lovely drawing we've done. We've done quite a lot, haven't we? Um, I would love to see your pictures, so do post them below and I'll be back on Monday for some more drawing. Have a great weekend. Bye.